Hey guys, welcome to another video from Compliance. In this video, you will be seeing how Compliance API works and how you can navigate through API processes one by one in Postman platform. You will have to sign up in the Postman platform before using the link. The link we have given in the description below. So as you can see, I have copied the link here. So I'll be pasting it and I'll be going into the Postman platform. So as you can see, this is the Postman platform. You have to sign up in order to use the APIs. You can use a Google sign up also, no problem. Uh, so make sure that you are in the sandbox environment, which is a test test environment. Okay, so now we are going into the core APIs. First process is the sign up process. You have to give a sign up email and a password. This email can be any simple demo email. Uh, I'm going to give some random name. Now, if we click send, it will generate a token. Okay, so the sign up process is over. Okay, now we will be going into the sign in process with the previously given email and password. In the sign in process, we'll just click send. It will automatically sign us in. So the next process is the API key generation. By clicking send, uh, we, are, we are generating an API key which will be used as a header for the EGS onboarding. Now we are going to the EGS onboarding stage. In this stage, we will be requiring your uh, company details and your preferences about B2C or B2B or any other company details which will be necessary for Zatka onboarding process. After this, just click send to onboard your EGS. As you can see, the onboarding has been successfully completed. You will get a message of successful onboarding. So next is after onboarding, it's the next process is just using the unified APIs for different test cases. You have four test cases given for the unified API. One default one is already in the body. So the main thing is the document ID, which is unique for each invoice. So make sure that it is unique. So now I'm giving one as a document ID. So as you can see, the document has been accepted. So next in the sequence is document ID 2. Document 2 also has been accepted. But if we resend the document 2, it gives a bad request due to duplication of the document. So next we will see another test case where the invoice is exempt of VAT rate. So we will copy and paste it in the unified API. So as you can see this is the document ID and it has been accepted. Now if we resend the same body with the same document ID it gives a bad request due to duplication. Next, we'll go to another example. We'll copy and paste it in the UPI body. We'll copy and paste it in the unified UPI body, which has uh, different invoice parameters. So as you can see, it has, it has also been accepted. So next we'll send the same uh, document ID, but due to duplication, it rejects it. And if we change it to the next ID number in the sequence, it gets accepted.
so in this way you can try different examples by copying it and pasting it in the unified api So that's it from my side guys. Uh, so in this way you can easily test our compliance APIs. Thank you for watching this video guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Please follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube and uh, please visit our site compliance.io. Thank you guys. That's it from my side. See you all in another video.